Welcome to another edition of Air King Explained. Today we're looking at the Air King AKHV series heat recovery ventilator. When balanced ventilation is needed, the Air King AKHV 160 is the perfect solution. With up to 136 CFM of net supply airflow at 0.4 static pressure, it is perfect for most residential applications and can be installed as a fully ducted system, extended exhaust system, or as a simplified system for continuous or intermittent ventilation. The unit is insulated in constructive, lightweight aluminum with a white enamel finish for an overall weight of just 30 pounds. The interior is easily accessible by releasing the two latches at the base of the unit, then sliding the door to the right, releasing it from the hinges. The unit comes with removable polyester air filters that should be cleaned every three months and replaced every one to three years. Optional MERV filters can be purchased separately and installed in place of the polyester filters. MERV filters should be replaced every three months. The unit has a removable and replaceable polypropylene cross-flow heat exchange core. The core should be removed and vacuumed once a year. To replace the core, make sure the arrow is pointing towards the top of the unit and line up the channels of the core with the rails of the unit. Push the core into the unit until it is firmly seated in place. Replacing the filters or installing the MERV filters are done by sliding them into place on the top right and top left sides of the core. The unit features two energy efficient variable speed motors protected by a self resetting fuse. They are permanently lubricated and do not require oiling. The unit includes a drain pipe for condensation. To install the drain, slide the rubber O ring onto the drain spout flange and insert into the hole at the base of the unit. Secure with a nut and attach the drain hose. The drain hose will need to be directed into a drain or condensation pump. The unit has a shutoff switch that will turn it off when the door is removed, but this should not be used as the sole means to turn the unit off when servicing. The door reinstalls by lining up the posts into the hinges at the top of the unit, then reconnecting the latches on the bottom of the unit. There are four test port access points on the front cover of the unit, making it easy to read the airflow levels without having to disconnect ducting. Electrical connections are made simple with removable terminals located on the side of the unit. Both the intake and exhaust fan speeds can be set independently using the adjustment buttons located right underneath the removable terminals. Installation of the unit is done by attaching the mounting straps to the joist and adjusting the height by pulling down on the strap that is secured in place with a buckle. These straps also reduce noise and vibration from conducting through the joist. Attach the other end of the strap to the unit using the supplied screws and washers. Once in place, the straps can be used to make adjustments, ensuring the unit is level. The unit includes a wall-mounted control that allows the user to easily set and make adjustments. To access the settings, press any button. Pressing the leaf button, then the arrow buttons, allows you to change between modes. Modes include off, standby, low speed, high speed, 20 low, 40 standby, recirculation, 20 low, 40 recirculation. Indicator lights on the side of the unit show what mode of operation the unit is in. The control switch also includes a timer feature. To set the timer, press the hourglass button once for 20 minutes, twice for 40, and three times for 60. Additional features of the AKHV160 include 6-inch round ducting, intelligent defrost, speed control that does not require balancing dampers, and a 3-foot grounded cord. For more information, visit airkinglimited.com or contact your sales representative.